Hi everybody, and this is Scott from Scott Shaves. One thing that I often have heard, and I see it time and time again, is how do I clean a razor? So I made a video before on how to clean a razor, if you have an ultrasonic cleaner, and you have some other tools. But the thing about that is, not everybody has those tools. So the question is, to people who are new, just like me when I started out, I've only been doing this since August of last year. So I've literally only been at this about a year. I have a shaved den of over 180 razors at this point. And, well, that's why I invested in ultrasonic, all right? And I know that not everybody's going to run out and become an automatic collector. They're not looking to get a giant collection like I have. But what they're looking for is to have a good rotation of razors that maybe they use a different razor every day, right? Uh, you know, for like a week or something along that lines. Not everybody shaves every day. Hence why you don't see videos from me on a daily basis. What I will say is I have been doubling up on some videos and devil releasing and stuff like that. And that's because I just have good ideas that I want to get out. But one thing that I do want to show you is how do you clean these things when I don't have an ultrasonic cleaner? Well, there are some methods and stuff that you can use to do it that are very simple with things that you have laying around the house. And some of those things will be toothpaste. Done dish soap and vinegar. Okay, so what I like to do first off is I like to get my bowl here, get your cruddy razor. This is a fat boy that I had recently acquired. You know, so you can see it's a little cruddy. There's some uh, soap buildup under here. I bought some of these, it's got a little bit of gummy to the thing. Um, it's not as smooth as it could be, and there's some soap buildup under here. I have bought these though, and you can see there's some black here on the handle, same here at the bottom. And I'm going to show you how to clean all that with just stuff you have laying around. So the first thing I recommend is you always open your razor, all right? If it's a twist to open, if it's a multi-piece razor, you take it apart. So what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and get your tap water as hot as you can get it. So mine takes a minute because I have a... Um, Distance travel maybe 40 foot from my hot water heater here, so it takes a minute to get hot, okay? So while that's getting warm, so you can see I just have a standard bowl here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the razor, or the camera down kind of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill this with white vinegar. Not fill it all the way. What I'm looking to do is about 25%. 25 to 30 percent full, okay? So not quite 50-50, and as you can see here, there's vinegar in there. The reason I'm letting my water get hot here is because water, the hotter it is, the faster it speeds up the reaction. And the reason that we're going to be using vinegar and water mix in here, hot water, hot tap water, so do not put boiling water in here. Because the problem is, is if you use boiling water and you're having to clean a gold razor, a lot of gold razors were sealed with a lacquer. Boiling water will take that lacquer off. Most tap water only gets about, um, there is domestic rules and plumbing codes that say it's not supposed to be above 130 to 136 degrees at most, which is 60 to 70 degrees that of boiling. It's still 60 to 70 less, so it's not as hot. So now that my water here is hot, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of my bowl. So it's not quite 50-50, but it's pretty close. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Fat Boy razor and I'm gonna lay it in there so that it's fully submersed. Now this is where you set a timer, okay? And it's really important that you set a timer. A small, slight dip in acid, what it's doing is it's doing a twofold. It's helping burn off and loosen any of that soap grime buildup that you can see on a razor. I have cleaned some super, super nasty razors. And what I mean by this, I have cleaned them with hair in them and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do while this sits here for its five minute timer is I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. This is going to be raw and unedited like most of my videos are. Other than some click splicing and stuff that I do, that's about all I do for editing. But we're going to leave this set here for about five minutes, just so you can, now that the air bubbles have dissipated out of my soap, you can see it sitting in there. 
So this is going to loosen up any soap or grime buildup that you have. And then we uh, proceed to the next steps of our cleaning, okay? Because it's going to be a multi-stage cleaning, and I will show you all of that. So, given that, let's go ahead and pause this video. So now we're back. It's been about five minutes since this thing has been sitting in here. And one thing you can start to see is some of the soap scum and stuff that was already there is now gone. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to proceed with giving this a good rinse. As you can see here, all I'm doing is rinsing it off thoroughly. All right, rinsing it all over. Getting a real good rinse on this razor, okay? So, doesn't matter if the rinse water is warm or cold. Go ahead and pour out our bowl. Just keep rinsing. So now what we're gonna do, let's see how much I can turn this. I never tried to see how far I ever go. All right, everybody. So we had taken the razor out, gave it a good rinse, all right? And uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clean it up with the second step. Now the second step is gonna entail taking the Dawn dish soap and getting it all over, okay? And then you're gonna just start at the head of the razor underneath the cap and scrub really good and work your way down, okay? I hate to say I'm gonna kind of fast forward this part because I was stupid and uh, turned off the recording by accident when I was adjusting my phone. So we kind of just scrub in here, paying extra special attention to the nooks and crannies parts right, right here along the cap, underneath the middle razor bar, this one here, the T-bar in the middle, and the end cap over here. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna close it, work on the caps, real good here. And then the end caps here is to pay particular attention to on the razor, okay? Because you can see that there's little nooks and crannies there. So you're gonna scrub it real good, all right? So now I'm gonna flip it over, do the head of the razor, make sure that this is tight and closed, and scrub kind of on each half. And you see how I can hold, I'm holding the razor like that. I kind of pinch it between my index finger and the ball of my hand, so to speak. And scrub in here really good, because you can see there's a little nooks and crannies there. And then I just kind of rotate the razor a little bit between my index finger and thumb, do under here. And as I'm doing it, I'm also working my way around the shank, so to speak, and going around this, okay? Because the neck of the razor here is where we're gonna be moving our next scrubbing to. So then once I get all this scrubbed really good, I'm gonna move my attention to the handle, okay? And you're gonna just kind of rotate the razor really slow. And what I do is I usually just start like this because by the time it goes this way, this way, and this way back around, you know you've done your full rotation. And we're gonna just scrub the handle, scrub the handle, and keep going, okay? Um, this is gonna take a while. So, you know, you got a couple minutes into scrubbing this thing with a toothbrush. Now we're gonna go ahead and rinse off our razor, okay? Well, as you can see, I'm rinsing my razor off here and just pouring regular water. Now we're gonna move on to step three. And, the, and then I'm gonna teach you a little trick. I hate to say it, but some of this stuff here is just not gonna come off. And what the problem is, is it's actually plating loss on this razor, okay? Um, so, let me pause the video and go get my next cleaning instrument, so to speak, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna pause and then we'll... All right, I'm back. Okay, so, my next cleaning instrument is a toothpick. We'll get to that in a second, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my toothbrush, rinse it really good, and you can start to see that this razor looks pretty good, right? But you can see that there's stuff in here in the lines of these handle, all right? So that's where we're gonna go next. We're gonna go to like a polishing phase and a final cleaning phase. So the polishing phase I used I stay away from flits and all that stuff. You can use it, lots of people do. But the problem about it is they can often remove too much. People get too aggressive with it and they remove too much of the plating on these because these are only nickel plated. 
Okay, so again, I open the doors on the razor. I now got my toothpaste. I load my toothpaste up, so to speak, and then I start working it, okay? This is very similar to what you were doing with the Dawn dish soap, okay? So you're just gonna scrub and scrub and scrub the living crap out of this thing, okay? So it's kind of like I'm doing here. So what an ultrasonic cleaner does, it saves a whole lot of this cleaning, to be honest with you, the soaking and the brush with dish soap and blah, blah, blah. It saves a lot of that. But hey, you know what? I did this for months before I broke down and finally bought an ultrasonic cleaner. So, I'm gonna scrub this and this, just keep going. Okay, as you can see here, we're doing pretty good. Do the cap, and then I flip it over, and what I do is load this up with some more toothpaste, just like so. Okay, and just keep going at it. Well, as you can see here, we're working it real good. Turn it. Because toothpaste has some of the same compounds that flits in them do, especially whitening toothpaste for polishing, but they're not just straight metal polishes, okay? So they're not as aggressive as removing plating. It's not to say you can't get a rag and go to town with this and remove plating. I have done it, so. To try to polish your razor. Okay, so now comes the part that is really the tough part, okay? And it's the handle. The handle, you want to get more aggressive if you can a little bit. There's your toothbrush and toothpaste here, okay? And then I'll show you one final trick with that. But, as you can see, you just kind of go to town with that. Alright, and then we're going to do my final step. Okay, so my final step is I grab a washcloth. And you are going to load this razor up very heavily on the handle alone, okay? You're going to twist this cap to make sure that the tight is all the way tightened on a twist open. And now, firmly, you see I have it over my hand, grab that razor like that, okay? And now what you're going to do is you're going to twist it clockwise, which is the way the handle closes, okay? And you're just going to keep, you're going to grip that like a baseball bat and keep turning it by the head. Because what this is doing is scrubbing the crap out of that handle. And just keep doing it and doing it. I just sit here and do this for quite a while. And then what I usually do is I don't lose my spot. I open it real gently and then add more toothpaste to it, okay? And rub it around, grip it like a baseball again, and continue turning clockwise. If you were to turn this counterclockwise, what'll happen is this will twist open. And that's not what you want to happen. So, you can see, all right. Now, let's get this razor all rinsed off here, and we will see the final product. I might have to get some water built up on this I can give it a good rinse over there. It's back and forth and see. So you might have to plug this in. So you can get a good, 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 good rinse on this. Alright. And sometimes, there's just so much stuff built up in the nooks and crannies of these things. But now I don't have that gunkiness I had on my twist open when I first started this video. 
And here's the final result. As you can see. So sometimes you get stuff in here and these things and you just can't get it out. And what I would recommend is you just take a toothpick and you run it along these lines like this. And it'll take it right out. Sometimes you're dealing with plating loss, so it won't, you'll have to try to scrape it out, and all it'll do is just kind of push it around. A toothpick will not hurt the plating, because toothpicks are made of soft wood, so they're not a hard wood that will damage your plating, okay? Do not take a needle to this. A needle will damage your plating, that I promise you. Some of this stuff is coming out. So yeah, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just run a toothpick up this line sometimes and that'll take out that final little touch. But there you go. There's cleaning in a pinch with things you have around your house. I'll go ahead and try to tilt this up without damaging everything again. So thank you for joining me on Scott Shaves. I hope that you find that informational because to me, this is a perfectly good fine razor. Good working order. Everything is there and it's really clean. Thank you and have a good day.